it's time for another Mower Monday. Okay, welcome to a Mower Monday. First, we had a uh, free Husky that I've already sold. Had a four and a half horse Briggs on it off uh, uh, Bowen's push mower. Had a throttle. And we had the uh, Sears here with 20 inch. I've still got it for sale for four, for 60 bucks. I had to put a tank and a carburetor on it and a new blade. But anyway, this was the old blade. Anyway, here's what it looked like in my pickup with the parts and everything that pretty much all free. I did get two blades that I paid for and a, more, a couple of more decks, all of which fits a Craftsman. Uh... I've got some other picks coming up here pretty shortly that what I'm going to be taking to an auction what, what is currently for sale. So the rest of these is what I've got. First one I got going to the auction is going to be this big old grasshopper. It's a, like a 84 or something like that. Uh, got an opposed twin. Uh, 50 inch deck, maybe bigger. I mean, it's a nice mower, as you can see. There's no well, a little bird crap on it here and there, but that's to be expected when it's been stored in a barn. Then I got this Craftsman Hydrostat uh, LT2000. It's got a 17 and a half horse engine on it. Uh, runs good, does smoke a little and use a little oil and the seats kind of bad shape as you can see coming up but it's dude's job and then we got this uh, 1840 zoom that I actually picked up last year at the auction and just used it all year and you know nobody wanted to give me what it, what it was worth so I Fixed a seat on it. These are a little bit older pictures up here at first. Toward the end, you'll see where I put a cover on the seat. But, um, you know, it's got a Kohler Courage on it. That's the one thing I don't like about it. And I'm having a hard time getting on and off of it. Then this GT5000. Well, in this picture, it still run fine. But, apparently, somebody didn't put the drive drive shaft to the water pump or the oil pump in it so I blew it up I gotta put an engine in it the good news is I've got the engine the bad news is I'm out of time so it may not be at the auction I hope it is then I got this snow blade dozer blade for an older international cub cadet before MTDs came took them over but it's in pretty good shape it hasn't been used much except it was stored like that and that spot right there showed up then I got this simplicity 6116 that uh, used to be dad's mower it's been about 10 years since it's been run it has a 48 inch deck I believe and it's been a while since it's been run as you can tell by the engine here. It's also got a fairly bad seat, as you can tell here. But it's going to go to the auction whether or not it get running. Then I got a 116 John Deere here. That it's going to the auction whether or not it get it running. But it used to be my mower. I used it until I got my tractor. But as you can see, it's got a replaced engine on it. And it used to run real good, but it's been eight years since I've used it. Probably that long since it's been started. But it's definitely going to the auction as well, whether or not I get it running. Now, to the mowers I've got that I'm not taking to the auction, but I do have for sale. We got this wizard here. This is a real, real nice lawnmower. Uh, it's going to have new tires all the way around it. It's got three on it right now. I finally found the fourth rim for it, the right color. But I'm going to put a new tire on that rim and put it on this mower. It does have a 22 horse, not a 20 horse intact V-twin in it. 
but after I get done with it, the only thing that's going to be wrong with it maybe is a seat, unless I decide to put a seat cover on it. And I'm asking seven fifty for it. As you can see here, it's got a roller on the front of the deck, and the engine does not leak any oil. And here's a picture of those tires. Three of the, one of these is not going to be on it very much longer. It's actually used. It's good tires, just don't match. The rims don't match. I mean, this one right here. It's good tire, but rims just don't match. Now, I've also got these weed eaters for sale. These are real nice weed eaters. Uh, this one don't have the uh, connection on it, but the other one does. There's two of them here. Uh, yeah, this one's got the connections on it. See? Uh, where you can put a tiller or saw or whatever on it. Uh, but these, both these Troy belts run and start good. But I would like to at least get a hundred dollars a piece out of these. They aren't that old and they start awesome. I mean, I just don't use them or I'd keep one of them. Then I've got this zero turn. It's actually been setting in the yard for... Huh, quite a while. Long enough somebody stole the blades off of it. It runs awesome. It looks awesome. The tractor part of it, there's nothing wrong with it. However, the deck is in bad shape. The bearings are shot. And I'm going to have to put about $100 in it for the belts and the blades and the bearings. But it has electric lift on the mower deck, and it works fine. It's set <laughs> two years and right there about where that trailer is there behind it. And it started right up. And it has a twin-cylinder Courage 26 horse in it. Runs great. Just needs a deck rebuilt in it. But anyway, there you go. Here's that zero turn mower deck I've not looked underneath it judging by the rest of this person's equipment it's pretty clean but anyway they took the deck off to replace a pulley and forgot how it went back together which is sometimes the case Anyway, that does it for another Mower Monday. Uh, stay tuned for next.